Now that you know the difference between the two different types of coral-like organisms, I want to now focus on the growth forms that sclerotinian corals adopt on coral reefs. To do this, I want to take you diving on a coral reef at Heron Island and to explore the different growth forms that you'll find there. Now corals, many corals come in colonies of thousands of individuals. Like this one here, this is a branching coral growth form and every little dot is a single polyp that is connected to all the other polyps in a colony. Now, many corals adopt a branching morphology. You can see in the background, there are lots of corals here that are highly branched. You've even got this one, Seriotopera, which has much finer branches. But that's not the only way coral colonies grow. In fact, if we look at another type, which is a much more massive globose colony, this colony doesn't have branches, but it's a big sphere of calcium carbonate. There's still other varieties of other growth forms. This one is an encrusting coral. You can see it's growing out across the substrate, a bit like that one there. We can see plating coral. This is a very interesting one. This is where you have plates of coral polyps that jut out from the reef and they're actually quite well designed to absorb light. So you also find this particular variety of coral in caves. Now, not all corals live in colonies. Well, here's one of these individuals. As I told you, these corals are solitary, mobile, and they don't live in the vast coral colonies you normally see, where you've got thousands of individuals. This is a single polyp with a mouth in the middle, and at night time, if you were to come here, it'd be a sea of little tentacles. Now, one of the great mysteries of these particular corals is what happens when they get turned upside down by a wave? And if I was to do that, I would come back tomorrow and it would be put up the right way. Now the secret to that is shown in the next video. Take the next knowledge acquisition moment to see if you have correctly understood the different growth forms of sclerotinian corals.